So YouTube put a strike on my channel, and I feel like it's uh, pretty unjust, and it further proves the amount of favoritism that happens on this site. So hear me out. The video in question was posted eight years ago, and it featured my friend, Fallen Afro, an African-American gentleman, prank calling a certain clan, which I'm pretty sure the number we had was just like a fake number you give to a friend as a joke, but he was pretending to be a racist redneck, and uh, he, he made a lot of jokes regarding his own people. He said the N-word a few times. I'm not trying to defend the video not being edgy. I know the video is edgy, but hear me out here. The video was loosely inspired by the skit Clayton Bigsby from The Chappelle Show. In the skit, Dave Chappelle's playing Clint Bigsby, a blind black man who thinks he's a white supremacist. The skit's hilarious, so we made our own hilarious video, sort of loosely based on that. So get this, YouTube strikes my channel and takes the video down for hate speech, but the very same sketch that we took inspiration from is on YouTube right now. It's on Comedy Central's channel. Re-uploaded like two years ago, uncensored, and it has nearly 12 million views. Like, I have nothing against Dave Chappelle or, the, or Comedy Central, but it's like, it, it, why is my little video that had like 40k views not appropriate, but yet the big one with 12 million is? I'll tell you why. It's because Comedy Central is a big network and YouTube makes a lot of money off it. Just like all the big YouTubers and all the other networks, YouTube very much likes to cherry pick content. So if you're not making them any form of money, you're gone. <laughs> I've been on YouTube for 10 years, and I've made two cents, and that was from the video they took down. Like, I don't even care about the video, and to a degree, I understand the strike if it was against the terms, but why is that video up? Where's the consistency here? Why is it that when a video makes you no money, you have to drop that, but if you're getting some form of revenue off of a bigger channel, you'll, you'll look past it. You figure it would be the other way around. You figure they'd be more strict with bigger channels because th that's what's getting views. But no, they don't care. They're making money, which honestly isn't consumer friendly. And it's very much not uh, content creator friendly. Us smaller YouTubers, what do you think helps make our decisions? Like if I'm trying to decide, oh, will I get in trouble if I post this or is this allowed? I go and look at bigger YouTubers. Like if they can do it, surely I can, right? Nope. What's really strange is the fact that they've acknowledged the video before. I think they age-restricted it, and I know for certain that they removed the comments, which was years ago, which killed the views. So the video's been dead in the water for years. It, hard, it gets like a couple of views a year. So I don't understand, like, you acknowledged it at one point, and now all of a sudden it's bad. <laughs> in fact, this isn't even the first time I've experienced hypocrisy from YouTube. Uh, last year, I posted a Conan Exiles video. Uh, it's a survival game. Uh, your characters literally start in the nude and you work your way up. So obviously I'm going to use that to sort of bring in some views. I don't mind the age restriction. I'd make no money, so... <laughs> so I didn't mind that. The issue I have is that I made a thumbnail. Obviously a clickbaity form of thumbnail because that's what you have to do to get any kind of views on this platform. We had all female characters, so I kind of made it to where it was more attractive to click, if you will. Um, so YouTube took it down because, oh, it was too sexy. Or whatever. So, all right, I'll censor some more. I'll cover them up some more. All right, that got took down. So it got to the point to where I just put a giant censor bar from ribs up to collarbone, and they still took it down. I had to make some random thumbnail that wasn't even all that good, at, which killed the views, by the way. But on GameSpot's channel, no offense to GameStop or anything, but... On their channel, they have a video called The Great Dongs of Conan, which is a video that focuses on the dong physics in the game, like close-up flopping wieners. And their thumbnail is a thumbnail of a dude, which is way more revealing than mine. So I don't get how mine was more offensive than theirs. Is it because I use female characters? Is YouTube sexist now? I mean... I mean, you guys are already being called out for racism, so I may as well throw this on, too. It's either this or favoritism. You make your pick. It just drives me crazy. Like, this website's done so many dumb things throughout the years. Even when I I was hardly posted videos before I was even, like, what I would consider a YouTuber. We were posted content regularly. 
people are talking about it then and it, how I feel like it's even worse. I understand a business is meant to make money as quickly and efficiently as possible, but this isn't the way you do it. If you're going to make rules, you can't just enforce them on certain people and let other ones have privileges above up everyone else just because they make you more money. If they see a lower YouTuber doing stuff. And, no, get it out of here. Get the smut off the site. You're going to ruin our good reputation. But then they'll soil it for money. <laughs> Remember the mobile ads they play that are borderline porn ads? <laughs> they'll age restrict stuff, but they'll post ultra sexual ads <laughs> because it's making them money. <laughs> There's no consistency with this company whatsoever. I just want an even playing ground here. If it's either everyone can post it or no one can post it. That, that's how I see it. That's how it should be. And the reason why they do this, why they get away with it, is because there's no competition. Where's the competition? The closest thing they have is Twitch. And that's a completely different thing. And honestly, they're not, not much better. <laughs> it's pretty bad. I'm just really frustrated because there's nothing I can do. I'm just, just this little tadpole in a giant ocean. I mean, there's thousands of little tadpoles, but none of us can do anything. Like, my video, I, when I repealed it, oh, it came back in like... 10, maybe 20 minutes, just instantly rejected. I highly doubt anyone looked at it. Or actually reviewed the video, like, oh, let's see if uh, there's anything else on the site. No instant takedown. Um, it's really discouraging to even make content. I make content just because I enjoy doing it. I shouldn't have to feel stress or have anxiety for the next three months while the strike's active, thinking, Oh, well, what if uh, they they find an old video of mine and there's a video game character that says something in one of my Let's Plays? <laughs> they just like, give me another strike. Like, do I have to, like, delete, like, every video I have? Like, what, what, what do I do here? <laughs> and I'm not even that edgy. I'm not even really edgy. I don't really, like, post very edgy stuff. I just talk about games or play some games. And oddly enough, it seems like I get this not long after I actually get a successful video. A reaction video. You know, the video everyone pu pumps out for some views. Yeah, I, I made one. And it did pretty well. I'm proud of it, actually. But now it's like, d do I want videos to be successful? <laughs> I shouldn't have to be afraid of a video, like, getting good views because it might alert YouTube to my presence. <laughs> I just laugh because it's really stupid. <laughs> it's, it's frustrating, but it's so stupid you have to laugh at it because this site has just gotten so terrible. To the fact where people couldn't say Corona or COVID because they want new sites to handle it because they make more money that way. I'm sure they say, oh, so you don't spread misinformation. But no, they just want money. <laughs> oh. But yeah, I, 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 I guess all I can do is just wait for the strike to uh, go away. Um, so I guess I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and uh, and hope for the best, I guess, right? That's all I can really do. So uh, yeah, I think I'll just end the video here.